Hey, I'm just letting you know that I'm only here for the vegetarian buffet, Chewy. Well, don't mind if I have a breast or two. Have you noticed that these girls don't smell very good? Stop being picky, Caesar. You get what you pay for. Why don't you go check out the buffet? I don't think that buffet is very sanitary. Hey, you gentlemen looking for a dance? Uh, no, we're fine. Where have you been all my life? Chewy, I don't think that's a good idea. I think he or she or whatever plays with the other team if you catch my drift. Stay out of it, you. Okay, have it your way, but don't say I didn't warn you. Let me go to the VIP room. I have a little surprise for you. I love surprises. It's like you've known me for years. We're so compatible. You're a gentleman, and I love a gentle man. I'm a gentle woman. I think the surprise is going to be more than you can handle, Chewy. I mean, look at her hands. And the Adam's apple. I already told you to shut up, Caesar. You're insulting this young lady. We're out of here. Let's go to the VIP room. I'm ready for my surprise. Don't listen to this guy. He's just a jealous because I'm in love with a stripper. Come on, my little Mexican champurada. We're going to have a good time. I'm ready to be your Latin lover, lady. I'm ready for my surprise. <laughs> hey, Chewy, how did it go? Let's go. But you said that. I said let's go. Let me guess, you finally got the big surprise. Big is not the word. I think humongously enormous is better. You should warn me about that stripper. I'll never get over this. I would all to you. That's why I hate you. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. I, I learned a really big lesson from this, that all men are not created equal. And not all women are all women, uh, especially at Ghetto Ranch. Tell me the truth. Did you get some pain and suffering? No way. I, I kept my back to the wall. I'm okay. Come on, you can tell me. Shut up, Caesar. If I beat you like some bongos on a Puerto Rican birthday. Uh -huh. I feel so dirty. Okay, everyone, settle down, please. Let me welcome all of you to your first day of school here at the East City Junior Vocational College. I'm your professor, Dr. Kiel Whitey. And our oppressors have labeled this class as Speech 101, even though I like to call it Free Speech Class 3000. Let's introduce ourselves. Let's start with you in the black. I mean, back. Hold up, man. Why a brother got to go first? It's because I'm black? Okay, we'll start with someone else. Oh, why you got to start with someone else? Because I'm black? It is not because you're African American. No. Then why am I in the back? Well, because you're black. It's a Rosa Parks thing. I'm doing it for an experiment for my history course. Well, can you tell me what your name is and a little about you? Well, my name's Jerome, and I'm black. Thank you, Jerome. How about the young lady right there? My name's Rosario, and I have three beautiful kids. Three? Wow, you look pretty young. What are you, 25, 26? I'm 17 and a half. Very well, Rosario. Thank you for sharing. I think she's doing a little too much sharing. On that note, what is your name, young fellow? Chewy. I'm just another brother in the struggle, like Jerome over there. Very well. How about that fellow right next to you? I'm Caesar, but uh, I already got my degree. I'm just here observing. Your name's pronunciation, Cesar, or Caesar, is shared with a line of very important people in history. Julius Caesar. Caesar Chavez. Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, huh? <laughs> yeah. Very interesting observation. How about the quiet young lady there? Uh, what may your name be? Uh, uh my name is uh, Dat Ho. I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam? I want to immediately apologize on behalf of the American people for our ruthless occupation of your country in the 1970s. That was wrong. Let's get back to the approved state curriculum and let me show you guys how to put a condom on a cucumber. Because you know something? Some of these vegetables have diseases. 